Hello, my name is Martello and welcome to a brand new series of videos on our paintball magazine channel. This series will be letting you ride along as we open up a brand new paintball site. Some of you may know that as well as running the magazine, Amanda and I own a couple of paintball sites on Target Games Callington and on Target Games Newquay in Cornwall, uh, based in the UK. I just wanted to put together a short video on what we've been doing, bring you up to speed. Um, we have a Callington site, which we'll run through in a minute, and later on in the video, we'll be having a look at our brand new Nuki site, and you can have some input into that. So, this was our site in Callington when we first stepped through the door. It was basically a empty quarry, loads of tires, rubbish, and we got to work clearing it all up. First thing, we were given a static caravan or port cabin to uh, recondition which we did new roof slicker paint and there we go we've got a nice little office we started moving bits and pieces in vehicles some barrels bits and pieces and constructing obviously a safe zone not really the best place to uh, construct a safe zone on top of a quarry we had to level the ground and uh, bolt everything to the slate basically but we got a nice layering of chippings down and got a safe zone together as the months went on we've started moving pallets, bits and pieces into the area um, and started building our fort. Um, obviously again bolting bits onto the ground as you can see the first tower went up um, pretty straightforward. Pretty abysmal weather um, for, for that year as I remember. Um, we started expanding the game zone, put another section onto the fort um, and yeah clearing the area. Had a few test games with our local pups team. Um, and yeah, it was uh, coming coming into shape really. Uh, we started leveling the area, started building more structures, big flooded area, we decided to put a bridge across, um, huge bits of reclaimed wood, nice and sturdy, telegraph poles in there, and basically making it really, really, really sturdy. So when those rental customers go clattering across it, there's no fear of that moving out or falling down at all. Everything uh, that we put in, into this bridge was reclaimed wood um, and yeah, barrels donated to us and, and all sorts so we really kind of scraped together what we could. We also had a small woodland area, a little convoy where we moved in trucks and about a year and a half passed and we actually opened up to rental customers. Uh, running 50 cal gog emnies, um, decided that those were the guns we were going to use. Um, we'll be using on to Emex I think 50 cal um, for the future site. But yeah, we, we, we got some nice groups in um, and started running our first proper uh, season this year. So the Callington site, long time coming, really hard work to get a site up and going, especially from scratch where there's nothing else has been there. Um, but we're really proud of it. The local team come down, supports us. Um, and yeah, the rental customers, we have absolutely fantastic feedback from them. These are some of the walk-on guys that have come down and, and played on the site. Again, it is quite a small site, but they do come down and support us. We have full mills, uh, old school mills field down there as well. Although the uptake on the mills field hasn't been great, so we're possibly going to relocate that to the new site. Um, we're not 100% sure yet. We really wanted to get rental customers, show them that side of the sport. You know, the, the, it's not just around in the woods, but it's tournament as well. So just quickly, this is the... Uh, aerial view on the right hand side of our Callington site compared to the Nuki site which we've just taken over in the last couple of months. So the scale is exactly the same as you can see the area is sort of eight times bigger so we've got more scope to uh, to run things. So when we first moved into the site it was in a bit of a derelict state there was a paintball site there before the safe zone had a tree on top of it um, and yeah it, it was really in a bit of a tatty state had an old caravan there all boarded up we didn't know what was inside until we started scraping it out. Bottles, cans, rat shit, basically. <laughs> the place was a state. Um, we had to clear it all out, get it nice and safe. Everything we turned over, there was just piles of cans and bottles. It took us about a month and a half to clean it all up, get all the crap wood, burn it, and uh, yeah, make the site clear. We moved in, there was a big village area at the top area, and yeah, that, that needed clearing out as well. So we decided to demolish the, the hut, clear everything out of it, um, leave any wood in there and, and burn that basically, um, move all the aluminium off of it so we stripped it, we're going to keep the roofing for this new safe zone and we recycled the old uh, aluminium as well. So we pulled everything out that we could pull out and uh, yeah it accidentally burst into flames. Um, cut up the frame, that's going to be recycled. As we were digging through the field, just 
like loads of random stuff <laughs> appeared, like uh, guns in in hedges. Um, so yeah, we we basically demolished everything, took down the old safe zone, decided that that wasn't suitable. Um, there was some harass harass fencing there that the trees were growing through. It been there that long. Again, more bonfires, more cleaning up, and and yeah, just burning it with fire. Moved in a huge port cabin um, for our safe area. Again, more burning of rubbish. And, and that's going to be our basis for our safe zone. We had a nice little walk on. Some locals came up to support us on a nice sunny day. Um, and the guys ran around and gave us feedback on, on the game zones. And the feedback was, it is overgrown. So we got lots of work to do. Um, I got a little live report from the site, a little walk around. So yeah, sit back and enjoy this and we'll speak to you later. Hello everybody and welcome. Um, I, uh, let's get this set up, sorted, there we go. Sorry, using my gimbal. Um, Matt's hiding in the background. Say hi Matt. Hi Matt. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be a short introduction um, for those that know um, we have several paintball venues as well. This one is a new paintball venue in Newquay, um, down in Cornwall, UK. Um, we've just taken over, there was an existing site here, but it hasn't really been uh, used or utilised for quite a while. Um, this is the entrance track behind me. As we come in, it's got its own entrance track to a road. Um, the game zones are here, um, and over here is just uh, general kind of uh, fields and things. Um, we're quite near Newquay Airport. I don't know if you can hear the helicopters buzzing around in the background. Sorry about that, they will disappear in a minute. Um, but we have loads and loads of work to do here. Um, if we have a quick tour around, if I can turn the camera around. How do you turn the camera around on this? Sorry, it's not even my, my, my camera. Uh, we can crop that. So if we have a look around the site, uh, obviously it was Paintball New Key, no longer. It's now on Target Games, New Key. Um, everything that we've uh, cleaned up is kind of here in bags, cans everywhere around the site. Um, everything we turn over reveals a new horrific uh, pile of junk. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit excited when we first got here um, to see some bunkers. Um, but unfortunately they all have holes in them and they've pretty much been eaten by, by rats. Um, so just have a little quick tour around um, we have actually demolished a lot of the site already. Um, there's our tank that we took to North versus South. Um, we've got one of these cool lockups. Um, this is going to be for our speedball arena. For those that have played CPPS, you already know what the pods look like. Uh, we managed to pick that up fairly locally. Uh, around here, this will be eventually kind of car parking area, I guess. Um, so, continuing around. Um, again, this will all be a uh, parking area once this is all cleared out. A nice meaty container, store stuff in. Obviously, we're trying not to keep stuff on site. Uh, we had a porter cabin shipped in, which is going to be uh, a kind of marshalling area. And uh, there's nothing in it at all. There's nothing in there. Why is the light on on this thing? Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the safe zone. Um, the portaloo. Dare I open the portaloo? Uh, yeah, this needs a clean. <laughs> yeah, don't really want portaloos, but hey hey. Uh, this area here is going to be cleared out and turned into like a speedball area. We've got some drums um, already there. What's the military have to piss around with their helicopters? Move around, this is going to be the entrance to our game zone. Up around here again, we've got a lot of work to do. We got some old vehicles knocking around, some very old drums. I've seen better days. There's a, another vehicle there. The helicopter's still buzzing around, it's getting quite close. These all need taken out. See, we kind of have big bits of metal sticking in people. Sorry about that. We had to wait for the helicopter to uh, to go away. 
So yeah, as we we're saying, um, this area here, a couple of vehicles. Uh, we've got another vehicle here. I don't know how they were operating with sharp glass and stuff like uh, on there. It's not ideal. So we need to get that all sorted and um, and done. Um, basically, this is a bit of a, a castle kind of uh, setup, I think. Um, we've got we got a little castle area again overgrown needs sorting out bunkers and barricades through this area more oil drums again everything's kind of hanging down and a bit gippy barrels there barrels over there if we wander this way through the uh, leaves and whatnot. We've actually got a pond over here, it's quite big. And there's actually an island on the middle of the pond over there. Um, whether that'll be included in the safe game zone, I very much doubt it for rentals. You don't want people drowning. Over this way, wander through, um, back into that speedball area we were talking about earlier where the blue drums are. Again, this all needs clearing out. There's a lot of reeds and we've already cleared a lot of it. Believe it or not, we actually strimmed this a couple of times, but huge piles of uh, brambles. Um, I believe this used to be the shooting range of the old site. So if we wander through this way, some reclaimed wood going to use back into the car park area and we got a path heads down here don't break that I'm not trying to break things my roof in uh, wandering down next to the pond and this way we turn right we've got some some fallen trees already that must have come down recently in a storm now this is an area we're really gonna have to clear out um, there's like a bridge structure here but the trees have come down on top of it and that's the game zone literally it is a jungle um, not really playable at the moment we had some walk-oners come through a while back just to try it out and yeah it wasn't ideal um so yeah loads of work to be done in that field um that goes back quite a way that woodland right up to the road but it's, it's pointless taking you through there at the moment because there's not really much to see apart from a couple of old pallets um go down this way over the rickety bridge but again needs uh, Matt's sexy legs over the bridge over a little river which is in, in flow very nice and here we go up to the main what's going to be the tournament arena and like a village area now we're thinking of this little makeshift safe zone there again some re reclaim wood all of this is stuff that we cleared out of this area that was here and all the way up there we'll go up there in a second but having a look around here we will be uh yeah you can see look this has been there this long that I don't know if you can see that, uh, can we zoom in? Yeah, look at that rusty nail, just waiting to impale someone. And it's just rotten. I mean, all of the wood, uh, there we go, just completely rotten. So we had to take it all out, health and safety nightmare. Just can't have uh, people running around. So we're gonna set fire to all that wood. Tires we won't be setting fire to, for obvious reasons. Quite a few tires climbing wall for some reason over there uh, another big pile of gotta watch your step 
they were taken out poles those big holes in the ground so loads of wood again nails rotten wood just zero maintenance to the site so it's all knackered uh, again stuff's been taken out up here big holes in the ground um, we actually have room to expand into here where all this brush has grown up you actually see just about see a building there like a hut so all this needs clearing out as well so we've got an extra good 20 30 foot of game zone that's not being used swinging around this way oh this grass is really tough going again needs a good topping with a mower I'm not strimming all of this on my own not by hand again everything's pretty knackered these are the last few remaining structures to come down you see it's just still falling apart with nails sticking out of everything I'm not having my customers running into that no sorry again it's all got to come down uh, back through here another big pile of wood to burn up game zone goes back to there so this area will be like a probably a village CQB village once we get get sorted and we want to continue that down clear out those brushwood oh, and get it get it in there um, get the game zone go through into the woods again uh, So that's pretty much a quick tour of the site. Um, we'll put up some pictures of the work we've done. Um, and yeah, next up we'll go and have a look at the Callington site as well. Um, we're preparing for a zombie shoot, glow in the dark event there, so we need to prep that. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of work down here at Newquay to get, be getting on with, and loads of work at the Callington site as well. So hopefully it's all set up for next summer. So. Any suggestions to what to do to the game zones to make them fun and um, for rental customers. We also want to open it up to walk-ons, um, our classic pump tournament that we want to do next year as well, and things like that. Um, if anyone wants to come down and lend us a hand, myself and, uh, oh, camera's disappeared. Myself and Matt will be very ha appreciative of any help uh, that you can give. So yeah, it takes a lot of time to uh, revamp a site and get it up and, and running again. Oh, well, we'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it right to the end. Sorry about the quality. We want to improve our videos, but we wanted to get this one out fairly quick. We will be having live streams on the Paintball Magazine YouTube and Facebook page every other Friday night at 8 p.m. till 10 so do join us for those we'll hopefully be putting up more videos as we progress through Newquay and Callington and any other projects we've got going on as well hopefully you found this vaguely interesting if you did like I said please like the video subscribe and comment but get involved if you want to see anything done to this site game zone ideas whether you want something out of video games or movies or anything like that, just comment up below. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video to the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.